Welcome back to another episode of the Manchester United career mode, guys. Today, we've got Everton, Chelsea and Arsenal. So three really, really important games. We're doing really well in the Premier League, so it would be great to continue that. The reason Everton is a big game is because they're actually doing really well. They're in third place. Chelsea are in second and Arsenal just outside the top five there and they'll be wanting to get back in. So uh, I'm sure that's going to be a difficult game. So three of those games coming up in this episode, and then we are very close to the transfer window, and I'm really excited. And also, just quickly before we get into the next game, I'm actually doing a competition giving away three copies of FIFA 17. So if you're interested in that, if you click the link below, it will take you to the competition where you have multiple ways to enter, and uh, it's all thank you to Raffler, so make sure to check out the app as well. And now let's get into the game against Everton. Now I've been reading your comments guys, a lot of people think I should be using Mkhitaryan more. So he is going to feature quite a lot in this episode, he's going to play in all three games providing he doesn't get too tired. He's going to be playing out on the left in this game because Bale's going to be out on the right and Ganso's coming back in at Cam behind Rashford. So it's a little bit of a different team today because I do want to save most of my players for the Chelsea game because they're obviously in second place. Now here is the Everton side. How they're in third place, I'm not actually too sure because the team isn't exactly incredible, but there are some very good players in that team and they'll definitely be dangerous. So we need to make sure that we get an early goal maybe and just don't concede throughout the whole game. And I'm pretty sure we will get this win. Oh, Mkhitaryan's won the ball. He's made a great start here. Over to Rashford. Can we make it 1-0 and get that early goal? I'm going to hammer it down the right side, but no, Mandanda pulls off a save. We've made such a good start. Here we go again. Rashford, can you get through the middle? No, he can't. Matic will pick it up and we'll give it over here to Ganso. He's turned. He's going to hit it. What a strike from Ganso. Oh my God, I did not expect that to go in. And in the end, we do get the early goal. I got very lucky there. I think it's Coleman who's just not able to get the ball from him. Oh my god, we could be through again here. Mkhitaryan, back post with the cross. It's been deflected, but Mkhitaryan picks it up. I'm going to pass this over here to Carvajal. And I'm going to hit it. And it's blocked again. Just over five minutes until half time. And Everton have barely even touched the ball. Really, really poor from them. Although I've just given it away. I just completely jinxed it, didn't I? Okay, Smalling. Got to be careful with him. I've already got him a yellow card, so I can't afford to slide in and make a bad tackle. No way. Oh my god. How has Strootman missed that? That is absolutely crazy. Wow, we just got away with that. And there is the halftime whistle. Wow, I mean, Everton should have scored. It's as simple as that. And that was their only real chance of the first half. It's just unbelievable. Everton are playing some really good stuff now. Oh my god, he's just walking through the team. Mkhitaryan, of all players, has to come back. There's only 20 minutes to go, roughly. I'm definitely going to need a second goal. I've just got a really bad feeling about this. I think Everton could easily score at any moment. Not with a corner like that, they won't, though. Okay, I'm going to make those three changes now all at once. Ganso is one of the players coming off. I just want to say he's been absolutely fantastic. But Ibra is going to come on up top. Schneidlin is going to come in in midfield. And we've also got Depay coming out on the left. Here's Depay now. Fresh legs. There's no way he's going to get caught. And now I'm just going to hit it into the box for Ibrahimovic. What the hell was that cross? Come on, ref. Please end the game. Please. I don't really want to play anymore. I'll take the 1-0. Actually, hang on. No, don't blow the whistle. Mkhitaryan's through. Come on, finish it, mate. Finish it. Oh, what a finish. Never in doubt. And there you go. All of a sudden, it's 2-0. Now you can blow the whistle. There we go. So actually, in the end, a 2-0 victory. May have been fair. I think maybe Everton could have got one in the second half. But in that first half, we, we could have easily scored three or four goals. So a 2-0 win. Very happy with that. Now we go into the Chelsea game. So actually, the Chelsea game was moved. We had Watford and we got a one-all draw away from home. We simulated that game. So a little bit of a disappointing result. I was expecting the Chelsea game there. So we actually did use the second team instead. A draw, we'll just have to take it on the chin. It's one of those things. But... We did actually go ahead and thrash Celtic 4-0. Obviously, we're already through in the Champions League. We're already top of the group, so that game did not matter. Used the second team, won it 4-0, and now we've got the Chelsea game and then the Arsenal game. Both away? No, the Arsenal game's at home, but now we're off to Stamford Bridge, and this is an absolutely huge game. It is unbelievable how quickly the Premier League can change. Arsenal were all the way down in sixth. They're now in third, and Everton have dropped down to sixth. Chelsea still looking really strong. They haven't lost a single game this season. So this really is the battle of the unbeaten titans. 
Let's have a look at this Chelsea team. How are they doing so well? They haven't lost a game. Godin and Boateng. Simple as that. That back two are so, so strong with Costa, Oscar, Pedro, Willian, Fabregas. But they've got Lewis Baker in there, which is a little bit of a weird one. I've gone with my strongest lineup. We've got Mikatarian playing again. It does mean Martial gets dropped to the bench, which I don't really like doing. I like Martial, but I read your comments. You guys wanted me to use Mikatarian, and he was actually man of the match in the last game. So it's definitely a good thing that he's uh, he's playing a couple of games, getting some game time. Unfortunately, it's pissing it down at Stamford Bridge, but we're not going to let that spoil the day. We're going to get three points, and we are going to go top of the league by more points. So far, it's all been Chelsea. They've had the ball the whole time, but I've got some possession here. Let's see if we can take advantage of it. Here's Carvajal. We'll go on the inside, and I'm going to make a little run over here to Matic. We'll pass it now up to Mkhitaryan. Now through Carvajal. What are you doing there? Oh, come on, Shaw. <laughs> okay, no, that was not a shot. That, that was a shot. That has to be the worst shot I've ever seen in FIFA 16. What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my. Oh, my God, Baker. That would have been some goal. Oh, that's a lovely pass. Come on, Ibra. You've got to get that. Up against Boateng, though. It's so freaking difficult. Wow, it even came off Ibra. Boateng has to be the hardest defender to come up against in this game. He's just a brick wall. A fast brick wall. Is Matic now, though. Up against his old club, of course. Back to him. Oh, if I could score with Matic. Go on. It's deflected. Holy shit. I thought that went in. Wow. Corner comes in, though. Good delivery. Matic is there. Smalling heads it. And it's in. I, I have no idea. I didn't even have Smalling selected. I thought Matic was going to get that. But no. The big defender scores. What a header this is. He just gets his whole neck around this. And it just bends into the corner. Courtois, no chance. Just don't concede, please. No. 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 <laughs> I was just about to say, don't concede, and then it's been the perfect first half, and then that happens. All right, it's been a tight game so far, but I think I should be winning, you know? Oh, Bale's done you. He's done you so well. Oh, he's gone through another one, and he's been taken out. Penalty. It's 100% a penalty. Fabregas doesn't even touch the ball, and he takes me out. But what was with the slow response from the referee I don't know we're going to give it to Rooney of course the captain of the club and we're going top left corner and there you go 2-1 we're back ahead so normally right now I would make some defensive changes but you know what I'm going to go for it I want a third goal Martial and Depay are both coming on Martial will be playing up top finesse it oh my god the rebound from Rooney oh my god we've done it we've scored three against Chelsea and that surely is the win it wasn't even a good shot from Pogba, was it? Well, actually, it was. It was pretty powerful, so the, the keeper, Courtois, had to parry it. And Rooney, from CDM, in the right place, at the right time. Just unbelievable, man. And there we have it, guys. A huge win at Stamford Bridge. And there is only one team left in the Premier League that are unbeaten. And that is Manchester United. Chelsea finally lose a game, and uh, they got beat. They really did. In the second half, we just turned it on. We were brilliant. So here we go into the Arsenal game. Again, Mkhitaryan is starting. It does mean that today, Bale is getting a rest. He is on the bench. Otherwise, it's a very, very strong team. One of the strongest we could put up. Azpilicueta comes in for Luke Shaw. I think Azpilicueta played really well when we last used him, used him. But here is the Arsenal team. They've got Laporte, or Laporte, however you want to say his name, next to Mertesacker. Elneny and Ramsey. Sanchez on the left. No Ozil, so maybe he did go to Bayern. I'm pretty sure he actually did go to Bayern Munich, so he, of course, will not be playing today for Arsenal. But they had a very strong team there. Arsenal have a corner. They've taken it short, and I've actually managed to get a deflection on it, but it's come out here to Kozula. Mertesacker has chested it down. You do not want to see Mertesacker with the ball in the box, that's for sure. But here's Oxlade-Chamberlain up against Azpilicueta. He's turned nicely. Cross came in for Giroud, but he's missed it. I can't even get a touch of the ball right now. Here's Debushi. And Smalling's blocked it. So they're going to get another corner. And we haven't even been out of our own half in the first 15 minutes or so here. So that's pretty crazy. I'm a little bit nervous that this maybe could be the game that we lose. It would be so typical if it was Arsenal as well. We're on the break here with Rooney. Up to Mkhitaryan. Look how easy this is. It's Debushi versus Ibrahimovic. And he's lost it. Ibra's through 1-0. Wow, Debushi is useless. I mean, look at him. He's left Ibra to run off. I mean, what's Oxlade-Chamberlain going to do? He's not a defender. 
Debushi, mate. That is all his fault, and Ibra capitalised, and that is his eighth goal already this season. And there we have it. That's the end of the first half. We are winning this game. It wasn't comfortable, that's for sure. Arsenal have had more possession, more chances, I would say, but we're winning the game. Well, so far, nothing has changed in this second half. We might win it back. Finally, God, Arsenal have had the ball the whole time, but not really do anything with it. Let's see if we can get up here. Here goes uh, Martial down this left wing. We've missed him in recent times. Now we get the cross in, maybe. What was that? Oh, wow. Just under 10 minutes to go here. Arsenal are on all-out attack. They've got Laporte playing up front right now, which is crazy. And now they're playing it back to Mertesacker. If I can win it here, we can go on the counter-attack and score. But it looks like they're going to get a chance. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That didn't just happen. It actually worked. It actually worked pushing him forward. I mean, that is a striker's finish, but it's actually deflected. I've just seen that. It's deflected off Bailey again. Right, we've got a couple of minutes to try and win the game, but it looks like we're going to be ending this with a draw. No, we're not. Come on, we're going to win this. Over here to Pogba. I'm going to drive this into the top left. Oh, you... How many times is this going to happen in this career mode? We concede, we score. We concede, we score. And this time it's Pogba. As Piliqueta did really well there to hold off the ball. And I've just, I've just smashed it. Checkmate. Literally. <laughs> oh, and there it is. We won it with the last chance of the game. We didn't even need to win this game, by the way. We're already so far ahead in the Premier League. And now we just extended it even more. Oh my god, we are nine points clear. That is ridiculous. After just 17 games, nine points clear. We could lose three games in a row and still technically be top of the league. That is crazy. 15 wins, two draws, and we've still only conceded seven goals whilst scoring 32. So we're the top scorers and we have the best defence. No wonder we are top of the league. I'm so, so happy with that. And like I said, we didn't even need to win that game. But because we have, we can relax a little bit and focus on the next round of the Champions League. And of course, the transfer window. So let me know any comments below if you would like me to look at certain players. I'm perfectly happy to maybe sell a few players, exchange players. I kind of feel like shuffling up the team a little bit for the rest of the Champions League. Although, maybe I should keep it the same. We're doing really well right now. And based off the form we're, we're going through in the Premier League, I reckon we could potentially win the Champions League. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the rest of the season pans out. But thank you for watching this episode, guys. Tomorrow will be a new summer signings video. And then I'll see you in the next one after that.